Hey, Kevin, two for you. I mean, you told us the other day that you were willing and ready to go out there and do whatever it took. At what point did it hit you that what it was going to take was 49 and 48 minutes? Uh, I mean, I didn't even think about nothing but just each possession. You know, I was just trying to win each possession, and I didn't think about how many points I had or shot attempts, like, you know, or rebounds, assists. It was more so like, just let me do what I need to do each possession. And uh, that's the approach I always take, and I was able to rack up some points. I did play every minute, so, you know, that helped with my point total. Uh, but for the most part, I just tried to stay engaged on the defensive side of the ball all game. And then secondly, what did it mean to you? What did it mean to the group to have James, you know, after being listed as out yesterday, work all the way back to give it a go tonight? They played 46 minutes. I mean, yeah. you know, just shows how much he loves to play. I was, I was uh, a little nervous for him because he hasn't played in a while, and it's a physical team, and his hamstring, hamstring is one of those injuries that, uh, you know, it takes a while to heal. But he came out there and, th and, and, and toughed it out, and... You know, had eight assists, six turn, uh, six rebounds. You know, missed some good looks all night. And I know his only his legs gonna get back under him over, you know, as time, you know, next few days or so. So hopefully next game he start to knock some of those shots he usually make down. And you know, we got a we got a our work cut out for us in game six. Man, it's gonna be the toughest game of the year. Greg Logan with Tuesday. Uh, Kevin, obviously, uh, James wasn't himself in terms of his ability to drive to the basket, and that seemed to throw you guys off in the first half. W was there a conscious decision that you made, you know, just to to sort of initiate the offense and to go through you again uh, to get it going in the second half the way you did? Yeah, I mean, we wanted to, uh, we know he's coming off a tough injury and being out for so long and we trust James handling the ball and setting people up so much that we we probably put too much on him in that first half. But I think he settled down in the second, got his legs, got his rhythm. And uh, I was able to help him a little bit as well, um, handling the ball. So did Landry, so did Bruce, so did Jeff. I think we all took turns. So um, we're going to need that going forward. Christian Winfield with the New York Daily News. Hey, Kevin, just how do you feel after having a game like this? Not necessarily physically, although you played 48 minutes, but like mentally and emotionally, how do you feel after hanging 49 and 48 minutes? I mean, we got another game. We got to travel tomorrow. We got a game six. I mean, I can't celebrate because we went, we, uh, we won a game. We got another game to try to finish it out. Vincent Goodwill, Yahoo Sports. Hey, Kevin, uh, I'm just curious, when you were reading the game early on and you were being more facilitated than score, was that something that you planned to do from the start of the game, just sort of to read it, to get Jeff involved, to get easier looks for everybody else, and then sort of rev it up in the second half? Because that's the way it looked like it played out. Yeah, yeah, it did look that way, but I didn't plan on doing that. I, I mean, I always try to be aggressive to get to my spots to score, and I think that settles my teammates down as well. Um, but, you know, this team does a lot of helping and a lot of swarming in the paint. So, uh, you know, last pre previous games, I made a forced a couple shots over two people and I could have, and I, you know, threw out for a hockey assist maybe tonight. So, you know, just keep watching films, keep seeing where the defense coming from. And, uh, but at the end of the day, I still got to be aggressive. Alex Schiffer, The Athletic. Hey, Kevin, I got two for you. You talked about playing the whole game. Just... Did you tell Steve before the game, you know, I can go as long as you need me to? Or was it you looked up at one point and realized you hadn't come out and realized you were good? Just, I guess, what was the dialogue like about you playing the whole game? And, and Steve said that you were cool with it. Yeah, we never talked about it. I mean, Coach, we always had dialogue about minutes throughout the season of, like, you know, maybe you should pull me here for a couple minutes or maybe you should keep me in. And so tonight I went to him and him and uh, Coach Vaughn just asked me if I need a couple and that they were going to take me out. And I was like, yo, if y'all don't need to, I'm cool. You know, I think I can I can kind of tough it out from here. Um, but I was cool with anything they wanted to do, and they decided to keep me in. And then just Jeff gave some you got some big shots. If you could kind of speak to his performance. Yeah, I mean he was he came out there and, and set the tone for us at the three point line to start the game, and um, I think we fed off of that seven for eight from the three uh, for him and off the bench. I mean, that was huge, huge for us. And we, and we needed every one of those shots. And, you know, even you got Landry came in and knocked down some good ones. Um, you know, Blake had knocked down some shots too. So they, they just feel like, I feel like they're just leaving them open. So, um, 
you know, we're going to need that in game six. Everybody contributing, but more so than anything, playing with that energy that we did. Brian Lewis with the New York Post. Hey, Kevin, those conversations with uh, with Steve and with Jacques, I, at what point were those where you were saying, no, I, you know, if you don't need to take me out, I can I can do this. I can handle this. Do you remember when that was? I think it was at four, somewhere in third or fourth quarter, but we always talk. I mean, I don't, I can't remember, but we always had a dialogue over there, and that was one of those conversations. I don't remember what time, but I just remember having that with those two and, you know, letting them know that whatever they needed me to do, I was cool with, you know. If they want me to stay in, they want to come out for a couple minutes to get, you know, I was cool with anything, so. Uh, I'm glad they kept me in, though. Cassidy Hubbard, ESPN. Katie, I'm sure a lot of people said a lot of great things about your performance tonight in the locker room, but was there anything specific you said to James and Jeff about what they did in this game tonight? I mean, we all um, encourage each other all the time. Um, so as the game was going on, we always tell Jeff, keep being aggressive, keep shooting, James. You know, we checking on him every time out to see if he, how he's feeling, uh, especially with handling the ball. I mean, with Drew Holiday pressure on full court. Uh, but after the game, guys were just, you know, happy that James out there playing again, but uh, also wanting to, you know, take care of himself his next 48, 24 hours so he can get ready. And uh, for Jeff, we were just excited that he came out there, especially after being out since, you know, for a couple of weeks as well. He came out there and had a, a nice impact, uh, impact the game pretty nicely. So. Um, like I said earlier, we're not celebrating too much, but we were excited for guys coming into the locker room, and we know that we got to, you know, put this behind us and get ready for game six. Brian Mahoney, AP. Hey, Kevin, I know you say things like, you know, always whatever the team needs, but have you ever felt like it was done that much, uh, you know, between obviously having to, you know, rebound against Brook Lopez, also kind of being the distributor when James wasn't 100% beyond just the scoring? I mean, I've always been, I mean, I, I know the perception of me is that I can score the basketball well, but, uh, you know, any team that I've played on, I've been asked to do pretty much everything from rebounding to defending to uh, initiating um, to scoring. I might not be, at, you know, I might not do it all the time, but I do a little bit of everything out there. So I knew at some point that coach would ask me to screen or rebound, defend, bring the ball up, score, shoot three. So I just, just work on everything I can and practice and, and when the game comes around, I just got to be ready to pull, you know, be ready to do anything. So uh, tonight was one of those nights. Ian O'Connor, New York Post. Uh, Kevin, just to follow up on James, uh, when you have a teammate out there effectively playing 46 minutes on one leg, how much did that inspire your own performance? I mean, it, I mean, it's, it inspired me, um, you know, this morning when he said he was giving it a go and he was thinking about giving it a go. I think all of us felt like, you know, first we, you know, wanted him to be healthy and make sure this is the right decision for him. But once he got out there and tested it out, um, we were all happy for him and we knew that would give us an extra spark. So, you know, it was uh, it was one of those performances from James that, you know, in the stat sheet, it may not look like it was great, but just his energy, his talk, his, com his communication throughout the whole game was just on point. So um, I'm glad he was out there with us and can't wait for game six. 